this is Amy and I want to show you how to make a an animated GIF using the installed version of Snagit. Now if you don't already have this I, I really think if you're in instructional technology or probably even a teacher you're gonna want to get this latest version of Snagit. It's not free which I don't normally make videos about anything that's not free but you can try it at their website for 30 days for free and I think when you see this feature you're just gonna have to have it so I'm gonna do a little recording of Google Keep and um, just to show you how the feature works so I'm gonna go ahead and record my full screen with the Snagit recorder now if you have a PC you'll access this probably in your system tray in the bottom right on a Mac it's in the top right so not a big difference it should look pretty similar to you so I'm going to go ahead and click my S for Snagit. I'm going to record my full screen. Um, yes, I'm going to go ahead and let that share to Google Drive, which is the default you can see selected there. It doesn't really matter if I record the microphone because a GIF is not going to have sound. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. And then when I get my settings all set up, I'm just going to capture it like I'm capturing any other video. Now, if you want this to be nice and big on the screen, then you'll only capture a part of your screen. So you'll see if I do the whole screen, this is going to be really small, but it'll still um, help you learn to use it. So I'm going to click Capture, and when I'm ready, I'm going to click Record, and I'm just going to scroll around on the screen a little bit so you'll be able to see the GIF move when we make it in a moment. So I'll click Record now. This is recording with Snagit and again it's not going to really record sound so it doesn't really matter what I say I'm just going to do a little bit of movement so that we'll be able to see it in the destination video alright so when I finish recording I'm gonna go up to Snagit and stop recording if you don't want to see that in your video you can also use the keystrokes and you'll see those in your Snagit menu alright here's the video opened in the latest version of Snagit and now here is this magic awesome button right here that says GIF so now I can just click that and I'll click create and it's gonna create my file it's gonna appear right down here in the tray and now I can open that up and preview it but the best thing about this is I can put it into a document a slideshow I can put this into an email and it will automatically start to play. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert that image from my computer into this presentation. So I'm going to find it and drag and drop it over into that space. Well, I just dragged and dropped it into my browser, but hopefully you get the picture. I can also drag and drop this right into a presentation or a slideshow, and it will start playing automatically when that slide is loaded. Um, this is what it looks like playing in the browser. So it's really spectacular. I, I can't wait to make more use of it. I already made a tutorial inside a doc that saved me so much time. So check it out if you haven't already. Again, you can get it for 30 days for free. Good luck and let me know how you like it. Bye-bye.